Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Jack. In this video, we will discuss the penetration testing tools you will need to master to become a great penetration tester. The first tool on our list is Nmap. Nmap is the Swiss Army knife of network scanning. Penetration testers that can master Nmap will become the champions of network reconnaissance. Are you inside a network and want to identify hosts? Try the Ping Sweeper. Want to identify open ports? Nmap has you covered for both TCP and UDP. Nmap even has the ability to discover services and versions running on a remote host. Nmap scripting engine is a powerful addition to the tool that can be used to automate tasks such as network discovery, security auditing, and vulnerability analysis. Nmap can be installed as either a command line or graphical user interface named Zennap. Give both versions a try and see which you prefer. Metasploit is an exploitation framework consisting of over 2,000 exploits. These exploits are organized into 26 platforms, ranging from operating systems such as Windows and Linux, to applications such as Firefox and even programming languages including Python and PHP. Alongside exploits, Metasploit also offers auxiliary modules for performing tasks such as sniffing, scanning, and fuzzing. Metasploit is a highly recommended tool to include in your penetration testing arsenal and comes pre-installed on most penetration testing boxes such as Kali Linux. Included in the Metasploit framework, MaterPreter is a reverse shell with essential features. Once a connection is established through a MaterPreter session, a penetration tester has the ability to perform such tasks as credential grabbing via hash dumps, evading detection by migrating and hiding the reverse shell process, streaming or capturing images of webcams, microphone recording or screenshot capture. Try establishing a MaterPreter session with two virtual machines to see the power of this tool for yourself. Mimikatz is a password dumping tool you should download and test within your own lab and a necessity for any penetration tester's toolkit. With modules including password hash dumping and pass the hash attacks, Mimikatz will aid in the exploitation phase of a penetration test by offering lateral movement features. Try it for yourself by dumping the hashes in your victim virtual machine and then pivoting to another host via a pass the hash attack. PowerUp is a PowerShell script aimed at discovering privilege escalation vulnerabilities in a Windows environment. PowerUp consists of many modules. These modules scan the Windows system for known privilege escalation techniques such as unquoted services, path hijacking, and many more. Try running PowerUp on your Windows virtual environment and see what vulnerabilities it can discover. Burp Suite is the most widely used web application security platform. Learning how to use Burp Suite will help you become an efficient web application penetration tester. Burp Suite is a web proxy application that will intercept and record any browser activity. Use this to your advantage when trying to identify vulnerabilities in your target application. To begin, map out the application by manually browsing using Burp Suite's proxy, or try out its automated crawler feature, Spider. Burp Suite also includes such features as Repeater, this can be used for manually testing payloads, intruder, brute force directories, parameters, and even credentials, plus many more. Try Burp Suite out by setting up a proxy in your web browser, intercept the traffic through Burp Suite, and see if you can identify differences in the responses after changing request values. There are many vulnerability scanners out there for you to try. Our top pick is OpenVAS. OpenVAS is an open-source vulnerability scanner and can be built from source or installed via a Docker container. A vulnerability scanner is a type of software that can be used to automatically identify security vulnerabilities in computer systems, networks, and applications. It achieves this by scanning network services and applications against a database of known vulnerabilities. As new vulnerabilities are reported, it is a good idea to keep your vulnerability scanner databases up to date. Give OpenVAS a try by scanning a target machine or range in your network and see how many vulnerabilities it can identify. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. 
Happy learning and see you soon.